Hello my crafty friends, it's Krista here from Second Chance Creation. Oh my goodness, I have finally finished um, this beautiful journal. Um, I have been working on it for quite a while. I started with it, the theme of it, and making ephemera well before uh, we went away. Or when I, when I was away um, a couple of weeks ago. So um, knowing the theme that I wanted to um, go with this journal. And here's another thread. Now I have cut most of the threads off. But I have left them sort of longish. It's like a shabby. It's a shabby sort of journal. I wouldn't say shabby chic. But shabby. A um, little bit of grunge. But no heavy grunge. I wanted to use up a lot of my doilies. <coughs> and my lace trims that I've been hoarding for so long and other bits and pieces and the theme of this um, journal is the scent of the scent of roses and what inspired me was a perfume bottle sticker I know it sounds pretty weird and wonderful and um, so I'm going to give a shout out to Karen Grand who owns vintage style journal creations she has her own a website www.vintagestylejournals.com she used to have an etsy i'm not sure if she still has it but if you go onto this website just there i'll just put that away just there vintagestylejournals.com um the perfume bottle stickers that I received from her in a couple of things that I a little pack that I um, ordered and I'm just falling in love with these little perfume bottles you know how everyone has their own little quirky things they like to put in their journals you know some are like um, photos of children or you know vintage ladies or feathers or whatever um, I think got a tendency um to enjoy the scent of perfume out of perfume bottles i do have some myself and i'm a 4 7 11 girl um and a plus of other couple ones so the stick of a perfume bottle is what inspired me in the name naming this journal the scent of a rose so let's get into it. It's become quite chunky monkey. Um, it's quite a large journal, but it's absolutely delicious. And um, as you'll see, I've added a few appliques to it. So it's a soft cover. So if you go back to my last video, I'll show you. I've, I would have given um, give you an insight of what the cover's made of. So it is nice and squishy, very solid. It has a two-inch spine. It measures nine by it measures nine by six and a half and it has three signatures and they're all sewn in with my sewing all and um, total of 144 front and back so lots of journaling space lots of um, tags and booklets and scrappy little notebook and yes you'll see as we go along what I have added to this is this beautiful piece of bling just there this was gifted um, to me oh, a long a while ago with this beautiful little button and I've just added this bit of jewelry here for my necklace mainly because um, the flower here has got a little bit of bling the flower cluster that I put on it is held together with a beautiful soft organza tie and this was actually from a um, underlayer of a wedding dress and it they've crochet they've um, overlocked the edges to make it twirly so when i cut it it had the raw edge of what i've actually done i've actually singed it so i'll untie this and show you you know the the candle trick where you singe the edges so it stops it from fraying so that's what that is and i've just um put a little heart on the on the end there the sewn in i've um, pulled some of the organza through and then just um made a knot and 
um, sewn it up so it wouldn't come through so that's and this is a little crackle bead so you know you can leave it off because it does stand on its own as you can see if you wanted to display it on your shelf it's just loaded with yumminess and um, I've added some more coffee dyed um, wedding applique here just here and of course we've got the, the Battenberg doily here some normal little crochet doilies and um, yes it's just beautiful and then this little trim so here is Karen Green's um, perfume bottle and she makes them in different sizes so I'm looking at getting quite a few of this made because I just absolutely love it so so yes lots of layering lots of little um, fabrics peeking through I had this little piece of um, it's like a nylon or like a chiffon I'm not sure it was a curtain but it had this bit of yellowy green in it and um, I'll just show you just there just there so I wanted to pick up the bit of color from the hat and the rose because I don't really have that much in there so just a little bit of color there all right let's venture in I hope you're excited as what I am and each signature is going to have um, the front page is going to be a vellum page um, beautifully printed no I did not print these I actually purchased these sometime last year and um, a little pack and it's just yeah I love it and of course you know roses here we go kicking up the heels and here I've put one of my flips through that I'd made a while ago and I've just kept that closed with a little wax seal which I purchased as well I didn't buy I didn't buy the kit and you just open it up it's got a piece of corrugated cardboard that I grunged up just a little bit bit of paper and um, just some tickets just here tattered doily little organza bow and then you flip this open and you can journal on it and I decoupaged a rose just there and then you open this up and you've got some lines here a little poem and I've just put in a little bit of paper roses it just fits nicely in there and then this just tucks in under here gently just to keep it all in place and just a little label so someone can put their name on it whoever purchases the um, um, the um, inside of the spine I've strengthened with a piece of um, linen cloth and I actually use Mod Podge so it's quite hard um, here I've, what I've done here is some of my coffee dyed papers had some uh, white bits in it so what I've done is you're going to laugh about this I used my tablecloth and put it on my printer and copied it onto my coffee dyed paper and that's how it's come out oh cool and of course um, this beautiful trim um, I got hold of this from Spotlight in Coffs Harbour a few weeks ago when I was out there altered CD um, pocket here envelope I should say and I've just slipped both sides and you can pop this out and I've got this from Pinterest and um, just um, printed on this paper and just finished up with a bit of lace and some bit of lace trim and you can just pop you can pop whatever you like in it like this but of course the picture was like this I thought why not leave it like that and decoupage some roses here make it look as though they're sort of you know coming out from underneath little pom-pom trim here I've made a little pocket here with just a plain tag a bit more decoupage some labels I've had from a magazine might as well use them up all my beautiful ruffles now if anybody's out there that um, is still interested in me making some of these um, um, they're actually just like a snippet strip they're not ruffles like a snippet, uh, snippet strip and then you can embellish it yourself and cut it to whatever length and that so I'm looking at making another batch to put on my Etsy store and here I forgot to close this oh that's right hubby had a look at this last night that's a tag that just goes in here but what this tag has got is on the back here I've got this beautiful wrapping paper that I photocopied onto my paper 
and that just closes up with a bow. He had a little peek through there last night. He always likes to look at my journals when I finish them. And um, this is the waxed paper. I've waxed it here. Okay. Comes out really, really pretty. So that's the same unwaxed. And that just tucks in here. And this is out of a book page. Here's some paper that... I think this is the book that... Um, Deb Hendrick sent me with all these beautiful pages, like a ledger type thing, record book or something. Um, this is a paper doily, and it's one of it has one of my magnetic clips that I've. Um, and you can actually journal on this if you like, little secret little note. And I decoupage. It's two paper doilies joined together or glued together, and I decoupage this in the middle, and then you can actually journal on here if you wish. Little secret, little hiding spot. And then it just pips out just like that. Um, just some normal scrapbooking paper that I had in my stash. Some more pretty that Battenberg trim just there. Decoupage. So I've used a few napkins throughout this journal. Um, here's some more of my snippet strip. I keep to it saying it's a ruffle. It's not really a ruffle. A bit of decoupage. little band-aid. <clears throat> you all have them in your journals. The centre of us, or every centre of a signature has been forced with a different piece of lace. I printed this on some photo paper and it looked pretty cool and I stressed it and um, I have used my hacksaw to do all my um, stressing. You can use your scissors but I, to me the um, hacksaw gives it a better effect. And I've just popped on some beads just here on the here. And a couple of more tags just here. And this tag's got a little flip. So you've got double the amount of writing space. It's an old book page and I made a flip out of that. Teapot with roses. It's out of a magazine. Here's one of my stickers um, from um, my book. It's my sticker swap book, and this one is um, over 50 years old, this sticker. I've decided to use them because I have no one to hand them down to. And I used a bit of um, German uh, book page print here that Perja was kind enough to send me. And it's done in the old German um, writing or print, which I learned in the last uh, um, 12 months before my parents migrated to Australia. Napkin decoupage. I printed this out from my book um, that I have onto, um, and I just fussy cut her out. This is an original um, wedding applique. I'll just turn that around so you can see it. Okay, and I've got this beautiful little bling just there, and I've just attached it to there. Here's another one of my stickers. <coughs> It's that wax paper, it looks really cool there. And I've actually sewn a bit of ribbon along here just to enforce it. <coughs> Excuse me. Coffee dyed hanky and just made a tag. I got her from uh, Pinterest. They were free printables on Pinterest. A little piece of fabric that I just stapled to that page. Decoupaged. This is a coffee filter, believe it or not. Um, I think it's called The Laughing Pug. It's a coffee company in uh, here in Australia. Uh, where are they? They're either in Tweed Heads in Queensland or in New South Wales. I can't remember. And we send away for a sample pack. Oh, it's di divine. And what it is, you have a... It comes like this with some handles and you open it up and you actually... Um, lay it over your mug or cup of coffee or actually a mug of coffee then you put your coffee in it's filtered coffee on the go i mean how cool is that and um, we have three i got three bags <clears throat> the first bag tore which i've kept and the second bag was intact and what i did was i actually just stitched around it and um yeah oh the coffee is so yummy and you can only just see um the markings of where the handles were 
a um, very clever idea I'd like to get some more because it's delicious and then I've had all these little things um, that someone gifted me it was on a uh, 12 by 12 and I cut all these out and make a little booklet and this is from a magazine and I've just thought it'd be nice in the background pink and blue just a magazine cut out here's some more of my uh, copied um, tablecloth and that's the end of the first signature the second signature has a different piece of vellum <coughs> and different pieces of um, trim here is another one um, this lace here I have somewhere and I again I laid it over the top uh, to be copied onto my coffee dyed paper so yeah so um, I didn't have to get any digitals or anything I just make my own all right here we are this is Karen Grant's beautiful rose um, again Karen is the one that has vintage style journals.com she hand paints this rose Karen if you're watching this I'm really trying really hard to do my own rose but oh geez um, I know they say practice makes perfect but my goodness I'll have to I'll have to share my roses one day and she hand paints she makes it look so easy and this was the envelope um, my little pack my order came in so I just ripped it and use it as a pocket and share I'm going to share this with you guys and then of course one of her vintage um, paper dolls as well uh, vintage stickers and then I've made this little um, booklet actually no it's a um, postcard envelope I watched Rachel from Roxy Creations and um, I printed these out and then I just used my paper the wrapping paper that I copied onto coffee dyed paper to make the envelope and that just holds what does that hold I have to have a look here what does that oh yes another piece of just the same piece of paper it's like a little set isn't it it just goes in there just in there and yes and I just put a label on here how cool is that they are so fun instead of just having a postcard you actually have a postcard and you can probably journal on this or whatever but yeah I just I didn't put anything on it I was going to put a stamp on it oh look it's got that stamp on it already and that just fits in just nicely just in there so it's beautiful that envelope and of course one of her other stickers here as well um here I've made a uh, the, the uh, pocket I've made into a flap as well just a decoupage book page here I've got a little bag with a little card in it and on the back I've got um, a little tuck spot with another bit of journaling card just in here um, I think I got these this was my last one from Tony from the she cave and Tony has an Etsy store as well I should if I find the link I'll uh, put the link in the description box um, she makes all these beautiful rainbow colored papers so but I don't think she's doing any videos on her YouTube channel. And I'm not sure if her channel is still alive. So I'll have a look. And here's just a bit of um, paper. And I've popped a belly band on this. Okay, so that you can tuck something in there. And you can journal on here. And I've just used up, using up some of my... This is just a... Oh, it's come off. Oh, I better glue that together. I have to keep that out and glue that together. Um... A little tag just in a little pocket in here okay one of my tickets and then I just did a bit of stenciling on the um, my I tried my hand on stenciling and um, that come out pretty cool I thought yeah so and that just um, gets put in here but I won't put that in there because um, I've got to fix that bit of stamping this is just a bit of a collage it's not a tuck spot here um, it's a bag of some of the goodies that I received and I've just had this bit of paper here so interesting with a torn bit up the top here a um, bit of collage and it came like that I thought oh I might use it for in here just added my envelope and a bow then I made another tuck spot it's from a magazine my little tag I got this from Pinterest and I did a bit of stamping and a bit of uh, seam binding on there trim it's come out of a book how cool was that really like that 
this is an altered envelope so I've just made that into a page and little tuck spot there you can journal on there this one here I've had this fountain for about three years someone sent it in happy mail and uh, so I've put Tim Hulse girl on there and I've used um, the postcard and it's so that it looks as though she's sitting on on a fountain filled with roses just like that and of course some more of that lovely trim okay and then you've can oh what happened to that okay I've got something missing here there was something here wasn't that I might put that in there to remind me I did have a tag in there so where did that go no 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 okay I'll have to find it somewhere um beautiful this was out of a, a magazine about um antique perfume bottles how cool is that bit of decoupage and what this is is in, this is my bobby pin um paper clip <laughs> okay my two tickets and i just um decoupaged them with a napkin and then you can take this off so it's like a little floating tag you can put that wherever you like in your journal and this opens up I've got a few of these bronze colored um, bobby pins and you can actually um, if you wanted to um, put a jump ring through there and put a little dangle on there Um, this is wrapping paper, a bit of stamping, middle of this signature, different piece of trim lace, some more beads, and here I have just some a journaling spot there to journal on, and this one as well. And this is my um, magnetic page topper. And it's also can be a tuck spot to tuck something in, isn't this just super? Really enjoy making this. This is one and another one of Karen Grant stickers. Oh, just love it. Um, yes, and this is of course the handkerchief. Just wanted to pick up the orange on that. And it's got all the pink. And this being magnetic, it's quite firm. Decoupage, one of my stickers, another one, beautiful, love it. And look at this, this um, coffee dye, another one of my stickers. And this is a little tuck spot and I had a bit of trim left over so um, I popped it on there. Another one of my little stickers, I'll just show you up close. Isn't she gorgeous? And you used the German book page on the Back as well this is from um, Pinterest this one I think yes it wasn't a don't think that was a sticker no I think it was from Pinterest okay so here's another tag oh was that the tag I think that was the tag that went in that other one I think that was the tag in here she was peeking through and this was just a note in here there we go got it okay um so yes yeah, so look how cool that paper looks beautiful um little applique there and i used some mint trim here some eyelet trim there perfume bottle um again you know i got this from the website here's the other part of the page with a belly band to scraps of paper and this is a um, guest check this is a fabric flip and it's got some ledger paper in here and look whoever bought the whoever bought the perfume obviously spilled it look at all the oil, look at all the perfume on it okay but good enough to write on <laughs> And this is beautiful bar cloth come from England from Ruby from Little Book. Thank you, Ruby. Here I've made um, just a little tux, not much, 
another piece of beautiful applique little tuck spot just here getting to the end of the second signature of um, <coughs> embossed this part it was a Victorian book and it had a lot of Victorian um, images on it I've had it for about four years I'm getting to the end of it and I still use some of the images but I think I've only got a couple after those but I still have a lot of these like cabinet card type things left with the windows square you know rectangle oval round and I've stuck some uh, Tim Hulse, his and hers through there. I reckon it looks really cool. She's got a bunch of roses there and just made a little booklet just from the scraps I had laying around here. Okay. And that just all fits in there nicely. This is, this is the last signature. As you can see, it's nice and flat. That's what I like about when I use a sewing awl. Um, it just keeps it nice and flat to journal in see the different patterns from the tablecloth this I fussy cut this out love this just love this I'll have to make some more and here I've got a postcard that I just attached on there and here's the other tuck in that one here's this straw lining paper and here I've made a matching little um, to journal on. It's going to put a bow. Why doesn't that go in there? Um, it's going to put a bow on there, but it's just going to make it so thick. Here's that lovely um, wrapping paper, and I just yeah, I just photocopied onto my coffee dyed paper. Isn't that just super? And I decoupage this on here. This was an applique of a um, bigger piece of applique and I've just cut that out and when hubby saw it he said oh that's your glass of wine. Trust him. Trust him to think about my bottle of plonk and just pop the little tag in there. This is another tuck spot. This is another magnetic flip or a magnetic um, yeah, flip. You can journal on this and this is another floating tag okay and this is one of um, Karen Grant's images but I've um, colored a ring with pink chalk because I don't have pink ink so I use my pink chalk and that just holds it together uh, did I do it that way oh yeah you can put them you know you can do it this way or you can do it the other way so that you've got the lace coming out whichever way see fussy cut so as you can see a lot of sewing love this this came out of a magazine can't remember i've had it for yonks and um i attached another piece of coffee pipe uh, coffee dyed paper on the back but i wanted to see another edge and um, yeah, it's come out really nice. And just pop that in there like that. Here's one of Karen Grant's little glassine bags. And how cool, I've just edged it, put a bow on it. It's a sticker that she um, gave me as well. And there's a hand painted rose. And I've just popped some really pretty soft textured uh, writing paper in there. It goes just in here. I like this little crochet edge, it's so dainty, it's gorgeous. Oh yes, and then I've got some more lace trim, um, crochet trim in the middle and then some um, pretty coloured beads just there. Some of more Karen Grant's um, fussy cutouts. This one here, uh, where was that from? I can't remember now. But I've made this little booklet here with a bit of trim. Another big tag and I've used an old diary page on the back with the lines. Got this from Pinterest. This was from a magazine. <clears throat> it was uh, highlighting dressing tables. I thought, oh, thank you. Another little postcard. Love this. And this is just a little flip and I've popped on some 
um, goldy sequined um, applique that was from a top that was worn by a bride, bridesmaid. And this is the other side of, and I've just put one of um, the German book pages that were blank, but you've still got that pretty text underneath. Here is just a little, um, another one of the magnetic page toppers. Just like that, there's Karen's and this is Karen's. And of course that held some tickets that I printed out. Here yeah, I've got this beautiful You Will Go As Far As You Let Yourself. It's come out of a book, you know. There's the part of the spine. And that was so pretty, I thought that would make a nice little tag. And here these came out of a um, book that someone gave me some happy mail. They're like cutouts. And I just um, grunged them up a little bit, just softly. And here's another just journaling spot there. Decoupage um, envelope, and I've just put in all my little scrappy bits in here. It has two tuck spots. You can, you know, tuck it in here, or you can actually tuck it in the envelope itself. So if I tuck it here, whoever buys it knows they've got another tuck spot there, and just beautiful trim just here. It's really white, I mean really, really white, and I just inked it a little bit. And this is just a little surprise that's going to come. I've made this little envelope here. So it'll have a little bit of a surprise in there. And you come to the last page, and of course this is a little magnetic fold-out book page. Gessoed over this so you can write in it decoupaged closes up and that's that's completes the journal and I've got to fix this up so I won't um, I won't um, close it up so I hope you like the walkthrough I really enjoyed um, putting this one together it's beautiful and it feels absolutely yummy um, a lot of textures a lot of laces a lot of trims all right folks um, until next time beautiful that perfume bowl um i should change it to 4711 i wonder if if karen can do that for me <laughs> anyway um thanks for um watching and stay tuned for my next video for my next project until then bye for now